Hey guys, today I want to present a solution from the team contest of the Middle European Math Olympiad 2024, namely problem 5. Let's take a look at the picture of this problem. We have given a triangle ABC such that the angle at point A is equal to 60 degrees. Now we construct a point D on line CA such that the point A lies between D and C and in such a way that the segment AD has equal length to the segment AB. The last step of our construction is to draw in the circumcircle circle of triangle DBC and select two points on its circumference, namely E and F, in such a way that AE is equal to AF is equal to the segment BC. Our task is to prove that the line EF passes through the circumcenter of triangle ABC. The first thing we can do is to try to use this angle condition here to calculate some more angles. And indeed, this is possible because we can use the fact that triangle ABD is isosceles. This allows us to calculate the angles ABD and BDA, namely, they are half of angle BAC. So let's write this down. Angle ABD is equal to the angle BDA, which is equal to angle BAC divided by 2, or 60 degrees divided by 2, or 30 degrees. So let's draw in these two angles into the diagram. We used the fact that AB equals to AD in this first step, and now let's try to go on and use this second segment equality. So we want to somehow use that AE equals AF. This seems harder than the first step because, at least for me, these two points E and F feel quite unmotivated. But the good thing is that these two segments have a common endpoint and therefore we know that the perpendicular bisector of line EF passes through point A. Moreover, the points E and F both lie on the circumcircle of triangle DBC. And therefore we know as well that the perpendicular bisector of EF passes through the midpoint of this circle. This motivates us to draw in the circumcenter O of triangle DBC and connect A with O to be the perpendicular base sector of E and F. Let's try to figure out some more facts about this circumcenter. And it's really cool that we already figured out the angle over the chord BC, which is 30 degrees. Therefore, we are able to calculate the size of the angle BOC by using the inscribed angle theorem. Namely, this tells us that this angle is equal to 2 times the angle BDC, which is equal to 2 times 30 degrees or 60 degrees. We notice that this is also equal to our original angle BAC. And this implies that point O must lie in the circumcircle of triangle ABC. Remember that our task was to prove that EF passes through the circumcenter of triangle ABC. But we already figured out that EF is perpendicular to AO. And therefore, we know that we have to prove that EF must be the perpendicular bisector of AO. Or in other words, that AF is equal to OF. We know that OF is just the radius of the circumcircle of triangle D. B, C. And therefore we have that OF is equal to OC and OB. We already figured out that it is enough to prove that OF is equal to AF. But we already know that AF is equal to BC by our given condition. So our last step is to prove that triangle OBC is equilateral. But by taking a look at the picture, we directly see that this is true because we have the angle BOC to be equal to 60 degrees and we know that OB is equal to OC and therefore triangle OBC is indeed equilateral and we're done.